Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rosemary, this is Rosemary as you rock art. If you are returning, thank you, I truly appreciate it. If you are checking this out for the first time, I hope you stick around. Please consider hitting that subscribe button, like, comment, share, and hit that bell so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. I was invited to participate in a collaboration and it's a dream team collaboration i was invited by my dear friend melissa over at by mimi with love the digital kit that i am going to be using was created by melody over at melody made so this first video we're supposed to do three videos but this first video i'm just going to show you what my plan is and what I am deciding to do with that digital kit because we can do anything we want. We can make cards, we can um, do uh, anything. I decided to make a journal. <laughs> Is anyone surprised? <laughs> so this first uh, video, again, I'm just gonna show you what I have pulled out, what I've gathered for this mermaid journal and that's what I'll be creating. The second video is gonna be just my progress on the journal. And then the third video is gonna be a final flip through of the Mermaid Journal. So anytime that I am going to be a creating a journal, I pull everything for that subject and I put it in an iris container. Now I get these from Michaels anytime they are on sale for four or five dollars. I've had them for a while. So I just get an empty one and I fill it with whatever I think I might be using. And that was a tip from my dear friend, Melissa. When I started making journals earlier this year, uh, she said, even if you don't use it, pull out stamps, pull out stickers, pull out paper, pull out, pull out everything that you're going to think you're going to need for the mermaid journal or for whatever journal I'm creating. This, this time around, it's a mermaid journal. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you what is in this box that could potentially be part of uh, my mermaid journal. So here we go. Right, let's open this box and see what I've pulled out to use with this journal. Again, not everything's going to be used. So um, I have been gathering things from Dollar Tree as well with their Shore Living line. And that's been fun to see that that's come out recently. And I'm like, oh, perfect. So I have two of these mermaid uh, fabric that you can get from Dollar Tree. They come like this. So I bought two of them because I wasn't sure exactly how I was gonna use them. I think I'm gonna put it on the front cover. Uh, so there's one of them that I've unfolded. And what I'll do is when I'm getting ready to use this, I will iron that up. So I got two of those. I had this in my stash and I think I got this at, I wanna say Hobby Lobby on a super duper clearance. It's this ribbon, and look at that. Look how pretty that is. Uh, that just reminds me of mermaid scales. Here's some more of it that I've used. So I have a little bit on this roll, and then I had another roll. And I think those are gorgeous, so I'll put those aside. Um, I found this stamp at uh, Joann's, um, and so I picked that up. That was at 50% off. That will be fun to stamp and then color it in. So I'll have that. All right, from the Shore Living, I think that's what it's called, um, I have the little sailboats, and I've already used one for my Scuffy the Tugboat journal. So there's one missing there, not a big deal. I don't know if I'll use those. I also have... Um, I think these are the mermaids. Yes, these are the mermaids, and these are the ones that you have to paint or color in or use your Sharpie or whatever, but I have those. I'm pretty sure I'm going to use those. Also have, uh, I think these are seashells. Pretty sure I use those. I also have seahorses. Now, some of them are painted, some aren't painted, so you get six in total. I'm pretty sure I use those. I also have the starfish. Uh, let's see, let's see. There's more of those. Uh, these are the um, 
dolphins. I and they say on no, they don't say on here. I almost forgot what they were called. <laughs> um, also have let's see what these are. Oh, the whale. These are the ones that are the little clips, like the little clothespin clips. Um, and then these ones are more mermaids. I thought, well, I'm making a mermaid journal. Might as well make sure I have enough. Uh, these are uh, little turtles. Of course I'm going to use those. Let's see. Do I have any more? Yep. There's one more pack. These are the fish. All right. That is it for those items. I also have this wood piece uh, of a mermaid I got from Hobby Lobby. Don't know if I'll use it. I also have a lot of these little bags. And they have like the mermaid scale on them. I have a lot of those and a lot of these ones with the mermaid tail. So I have a lot of these. Uh, and oh, there's one more. It says... Uh, mermaid dreams so I have those to create tuck spots and stuff so a lot of those little envelopes let me gather all of those up see okay so I have a lot of those so, so those those will be fun to use uh, let's see do I have them all a few more all right all right um, make sure I've got all that. Okay, let's see. What else? I have a lot of stuff in here. Um, I have these mermaid stickers. There's just a, f well, there's not a few. There's some there. I've used some. Um, there, there, there is, oh my gosh. <laughs> there is this a Little Mermaid sticker pack. I'm not sure if I'm going to incorporate the Little Mermaid story in this journal or not. I'm not sure. There is this uh, sticker pack that I got from Hobby Lobby, and I think it's it's stickabilities is what it is, and it's called Mermaid Starfish. So you get a bunch in there. So possibly use that. Uh, some other stickers that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, that had nothing to do with mermaids, so never mind with that. Um, I had this scrap piece of paper or cardstock that I thought looked like mermaid scale. I also have this sticker pack that I just recently bought from Dollar Tree, and it is mermaids and some other images and some letters. Okay possibility uh let's see i'm gonna pull this out i got this i don't remember exactly where i got this from i think this was part of some uh a d stash that patricia was doing now patricia is neil's wife and neil's in our band so that's how that goes she was uh, de-stashing and passed on a lot of crafty items to me. And this, I think, was one of the items. Now look at the color options in here. Aren't those going to be just perfect for a mermaid journal? Isn't that gorgeous paper? Those are colors that I think of if I'm thinking of a mermaid craft. Uh, also have... I want to pull out, before I pull out the sticker or the uh, packs, I want to show you what else I have. Let's move on to, I distressed one of these pages with alcohol spray. I used it for my sandcastle journal, which I'm just about done with, uh, but I had one more sheet left, so I thought I'd bring it over to the mermaid journal. I have these gorgeous, gorgeous stickers, but I'm not sure if I will use them, the colors are right. Uh, and I think I may. They, they're they flowers and they're just brilliant um, foil stickers. Look how pretty those are. They're flowers, but I think they'll work. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, I'm just pulling it out. These ones are gold. 
let me see what these are. Um, I need to look at these closer because I'm not sure if those would work. I just picked out sparkly stuff. Uh, these are gold. I think they're kind of the same thing uh, like those silver ones, but they're gold. So I'll need to see what those are about. Uh, here's some pretty uh, fuchsia colored ones. Uh, I'm trying to see what these are. Boy, these are hard to see. Oh, I think this is a big old heart. I mean, I think they'll work as embellishments. Look at this. I know this color will work. I just don't know exactly. I think it will because there's a bunch of beautiful flowers in the sea, deep, deep in the sea. Um, I had pulled this out, but it's not going to go with the mermaid journal. It went with the flamingo journal I was doing, and it was these glass stickers. Or what are they calling these? Uh, glass stickers. So I need to put that back in my stash. All right. The other thing that I am excited to use are, let me see if this is all together. Oh, here's some more of those stickers. Let me, let me show you these. Uh, again, the colors are right that I want to use this beautiful teal that one and look at that but I'm not sure oh I think these are kind of just like dots and stuff so that might work for bubbles I don't know yet but I I pull it out because as I'm working with stuff I don't want to like oh I should have pulled that out here's some more of these brilliant brilliant colored stickers this one's a red uh, a real pale pink and a pale teal you can see those so maybe those let's see about that uh let's put those back in okay then i have this sticker pack does this go with that um oh in my stash i found these those are the correct colors and a piece of that um i also oh yes yes okay this is a paper, uh, a scrapbook kit, and it's called Mermaid Dreams. And I got this from Hobby Lobby, and I kind of pulled it apart a little bit because there's no piece of that scrap paper, because I wanted to see what was in there. So here is that paper uh, kit, and I'm definitely using that. So there's one. I bought two of them. Not two of the same, but two scrapbook kits. This one is called, uh, oh, I think the unicorn jumped in here because I'm not going to be using that. Uh, oh, no, no, no. I do have a unicorn one. This is called Under the Sea. <laughs> I need to quit pretending I'm reading. Under the Sea. I haven't opened that yet. And here is that kit. So in these kits, you get paper. You get stickers, you get the ephemera, you get uh, all sorts of, you get gems, little jemmies to use in here. So I love these. So between these two, I'm going to be able to create uh, a journal. Possibly two. I don't know yet. Um, I have some scrap paper that I uh, picked up at Joann's when it was 20 cents. It still could be, I'm not sure. I picked up these colors for my mermaid journal. This one, hope you can see the color. This one, and the colors just get progressively darker in that family. That one, see how those are the three shades of that teal. Um, again, when I'm thinking the sea, I'm thinking gorgeous, brilliant, bright colors. So there's a bright green, a bright purple, a very bright blue. So those are the card stocks that I'm going to be using for the mermaid journal. All right, about that. Oh, uh, let's see, let's see. I have a, a book that I found at the thrift store and it's called Into the Sea. And it's just a book with lovely images that I will be cutting out and using. Let me see if I can show you some of them. See, this is the purples I'm talking about. Those are just so pretty. And let's see if I have some other brilliant um, colors and pictures that I can show you. Look at, look at that. Gorgeous, right? Just the vibrant colors.
colors. Oh, this was my favorite. Check that out. I love that. I love that. I love that. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. I'm going to show you the whole book, apparently. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, see, there's the purples. Uh, all right. Let me see. Probably not too much more of this book. Let's see. Bright, bright blues and greens. Uh, greens, um, the darker blues. Yeah, so I'm going to be pulling these images out of here. Perhaps also, uh, you know, maybe some of the descriptions from this book. And look at the back page. It has all the types of turtles, I think. I'll be using that. Uh, let's see. I have a stamp kit that I'll, I'll uh, pause the video and show you in just a bit. I also got the digital kit from um, Melody. And again, she created this digital kit for this project. Oh, I have, before I show you that, I have more pictures that I want to include. <gasps> this one for sure. Look at all those tropical fish. Isn't that beautiful? That will definitely be in there. Uh, I think I'll skip the flip-flops. These were in here for another project. Uh, I don't think there's anything else in here that I will be using. Because I have... Uh, I When I was shopping at Joann's, I picked up just other things like the flip-flops. Um, the music paper, I got several of that. Some script paper, like that. And... My camera was trying to turn off. Uh, and then some of this paper. So I may use some of that. So that's what that is at the bottom of this bin. All right. So the digital kit that Melody created, I will show you that. So I will be incorporating these into that kit. There's mermaids. There's just different, different images in here. And that will be part of my journal. So I'm going to pause the camera because I want to show you the stamp set that I will probably be using. It has a mermaid and some other images that are appropriate for the mermaid right, journal. The stamp sets that I, I uh, purchased from Sam's Club, I think it was last summer or so, um, and, and these come in a magazine, uh, either it's card making or crafts. I'm not sure what the magazines are called, uh, but these are the clear stamps that I got in one of those magazines. So definitely going to be using some of these to create tags, uh, cards, and then here's the back of that card that those stamps are attached to. And then... Also, this smaller set, and these are mermaids. So that came with it. And then also this embossing folder. And look how cool that is. So you just had to flip it this way and create that. And uh, I think that's really, really cool to add texture to the project. So those are some of the pro uh, products and some of the items I'm going to be using to create this mermaid journal. A big thanks to Melissa and Melody for inviting me to be part of this dream team. So my next video is just going to bring you along uh, on my progress on the journal. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing a cinch journal or am I going to create a journal by creating the front and back cover and the spine and gluing it together with fabric. Uh, kind of how I did my first two journals, my farmhouse journal and my butterfly journal. Then, since then, uh, after those two, I started doing cinch journals. Or, I should say, Jack is helping me with the cinch journals. Which, either way, they are fun. They are just so cool to create either way. But, I kind of wanted to do a non-cinch journal. Just, uh, you know, create it with the two back and front covers with the mat board and then the mat board for the spine and then gluing it together with fabric and then creating the um, signatures and then uh, attaching them with uh, elastic. So uh, if you're not sure what all of that means, just hang, hang tight. I will show you. And uh, 
uh, the next video I will have decided which direction I'm going to go and uh, hopefully I have a lot of this already done and I can show you uh, what's happening with the journal. And then the final video, which is uh, video three, is going to be a final flip through of my journal. So again, a big thanks to Melissa and Melody for inviting me to participate in this dream team and uh, for this mermaid project. I really do appreciate you hanging out with me for just a bit. Be safe, be happy, be positive, and until next time, you guys rock.